Alright, so it's time for us to implement the remote form. Let's just start with something here. Um, we'll create a placeholder. And remember we already put it here as the component that will be rendered when this path is hit. So what we want to do now is change here instead of having the component itself rendering here we want to have router view and when we go to remote we'll see that we are on the form. So back to our home and we have the list just as defined over here. Okay so far so good. So now it's time for us to implement the form and in order to do just that we'll replace this text here with the content. So let's get started. First, let's implement a form element in which we want to have a V card padding of two all around, elevation of zero, so we don't want any drop shadow there. Okay, so we need V card. Let's add it real quick. V card. Uh huh. And let's close everything here. And open it up again. Remote view. I'm going to get rid of the Explorer panel, remote form, and so inside the card we can have a V card title and we can also have V card text which will be like the contents and we can have a v card actions like in the list um, and here let's add three different fields so the first one it's gonna be the alias of our remote we're going to add a suffix here then let's add an auto focus for this one All right. and same thing again we need to register v text field So let's do that. And that worked. Awesome. So we'll be adding two more fields. Awesome. So we have our three fields now where we're going to write the alias the location of the remote so the URI and also how often we want to ping that remote so let's now on the actions part create a new 
create a space there, and then two buttons. One for a cancel. And one for saving. All right, so far so good. So there's not much we can actually do with this form yet because we need to implement all the logic. And let's start with the cancel button. Let's say that on click we want to call this cancel method here. So the cancel method is a very simple thing. We need to redirect the user to a different route because we don't want to be here anymore. That's why we're canceling, right? So we'll go back to home using the router. And there it is.